there have been many strange and strange events in the world that have surprised us. There have been many such events in the history of the world that no one has been able to understand. Science has progressed so much, but still some events are still out of our understanding. In these events, airplanes suddenly disappear in the air. There have been many such events in the history of the world that no one has been able to understand. For years, these airplanes were surveyed, but they were either eaten by the earth or swallowed by the sky. No one has been able to understand. In this video, I will tell you about some such unknown airplanes that you will be surprised to hear. Recently, the Malaysian aircraft flight 370 disappeared after a three-year search. To find that aircraft, the most expensive search in history was done, in which 15 countries were included at the time, but no solid evidence could be found. Not even the corpse of a passenger was found. This was the most surprising event in the history of aviation. The Malaysian plane disappeared from Malaysia to China in March 2014. According to investigators, this aircraft crashed at a very high speed, but how, when, and where, no one has been able to find out. This aircraft had 249 passengers on board. After a three year search, some evidence was found, but it could not be said that this evidence is related to this aircraft. No one has been able to find this aircraft. Some pieces of this aircraft were found, but it was not said that these are the pieces of the same aircraft. Friends, let's talk about that aircraft whose story is extremely surprising. Before that, let me tell you that this incident was reported in the newspapers at that time and this incident was talked about for a long time. So I'm just telling you about this incident. I'm not going to make anything up from my side. You can also search the internet about this incident. Friends, in 1992, a charter aircraft BC-4 landed at an airport in the city of Venezuela, Calais. This aircraft had 57 passengers on board. But the surprising thing is that this was the same aircraft that disappeared from New York to Miami 37 years ago in 1955 and which could not be traced. This is certainly said. After landing at Calais Airport, this aircraft flew away again after a few minutes and then was never seen again. This incident was raised a lot in the media at that time, but no one understood how this happened. It is said that the proof for this is the audio recording that took place between the pilot and the control tower during the conversation. Let me tell you what exactly happened. 1955, a DC-4 aircraft flight 914 took 57 passengers from New York to Miami, but it disappeared from the radar during its journey, and then it was never found again. A lot of research was done on this aircraft, but in 1955, since the technology was not so advanced as much as possible, this aircraft was found, and then it was assumed that this aircraft had fallen and disappeared in an ocean. Friends, 37 years had passed since. This incident and the world had long forgotten about this aircraft. But on March 22, 1992, something happened that is still very difficult to believe. On the evening of March 22, 1992, air traffic controllers were working in the control tower at the airport in Venezuela. Friends, air traffic controllers are those people who control the traffic of aircraft in the air so that the aircraft flies at the specified altitude and height and does not collide with each other. According to a burger, he was doing his job when suddenly a pilot of a plane contacted him on the radio. The air traffic controller sitting in the control tower when asked the details of the pilot. The pilot asked the first question instead of saying anything that where are we? According to the air traffic controller, his voice was very scary and the pilot said that this charter flight is 914 and there are 57 passengers in it, and this flight is going from New York to Miami. The pilot was still very scared. Hearing the pilot's words, the air traffic controller sitting in the control room was very surprised because Miami was 1,800 kilometers away from there and he thought that this aircraft had gone astray. This was a very dangerous thing. This aircraft could not only be the cause of the accident itself, but could also be the cause of the accident of some other aircraft. 
the air traffic controller said that this is the city of Venezuela, Caracas, and you have lost your way. There was no response from the pilot of the aircraft. The people in the control room were waiting anxiously to hear the answer of the pilot. About five minutes later, the pilot's answer came, that can I land this aircraft at the Caracas airport? The air traffic controller allowed him to do so so that he could be saved from an accident. The runway was immediately cleared. A few minutes later, the people in the control room saw that a very old aircraft was descending from the sky towards the Caracas airport. They had never seen such an aircraft before. It looked like a very old aircraft. Suddenly, the pilot of the aircraft contacted them again. The pilots inside started talking to each other. Both pilots were talking to each other. What is this? Just then, a pilot told them that this flight has come from New York and it has to land at Miami Airport at 9.55 p.m. on August 12, 1955. The air traffic controller in the control room replied with surprise that what are you talking about? This is May 21, 1952. The pilot shouted with surprise and said, Oh my God. The control room told him not to panic and told him to remove the aircraft. The aircraft had now landed. This looked like a very old aircraft. The pilots in the control room said that they are sending their ground crew to help them. The ground crew immediately moved towards the aircraft and went inside the aircraft. According to them, when they moved towards the pilots, the pilots said, no, you stay away from us and we are leaving right now. According to the ground crew, the pilot and the passenger looked very tensed and scared. The pilot asked the ground crew to stop. There, with the gesture of their hands, he was very scared. The pilot had a calendar in his hand which fell down and one of the crew members picked up the calendar. You can see this calendar which was of 1955. After that, the aircraft flew away from there and was never seen again. Friends, as I told you before, it is difficult to believe this incident. But it was reported in the newspapers at that time. And there were many discussions about this incident. According to the air traffic controller, the witnesses of this incident are the people present there. As I said before, I can't say anything about how true this incident is. Friends, a PIA aircraft also disappeared in the same way. Until date, no one has been able to find out where this aircraft and its passengers went. On August 25, 1989, at approximately 7.36 p.m., PIA's Fokker F. 27 aircraft flight 404 was going from Gilgit to Islamabad. 49 passengers and five crew members were traveling in this aircraft. This was the same route on which another PIA aircraft had recently crashed. It took off at 7.30 p.m. And just four minutes after taking off, the pilots contacted the control tower. Normally, every pilot contacts the control tower immediately after taking off. But this was the last contact from the pilot. After that, this aircraft disappeared from radar. And again, no one was able to find out where this aircraft disappeared. Pakistan Army also tried to find this aircraft. Especially one of the highest mountains in the world, Nanga Parbat, was seen around. But no piece of this aircraft was found. It is said that this aircraft fell into the highest snow-capped mountains of the Himalayas and was destroyed somewhere.